Hi guys, Sean here at Go Big Borrow Go Home where recoil is required. And we're out here, it's another windy overcast day in Arizona. I do apologize about the wind noise, but I know what you're thinking right now. Sean, this is a big bore channel and a handgun channel and you got an AR slung over your shoulder. What gives? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you about. Now, as many of you know, I am a big Star Wars fan. I grew up with the original trilogy, big fan. Not a fan of the Disney stuff, sorry. Hence, my allegiance to the fandom menace. That said, what did I do? Well, everybody sees those custom-made lowers. You know, you can get them from uh, Spikes Tactical, and it's got, like, the unicorn lower, or it's got the, uh, the honey badger lower. So I said, well, I want a Star Wars lower. But not any Star Wars lower. I want a Star Wars lower about the most evil villain ever to grace the screen, Emperor Palpatine, a.k.a. Darth Sidious himself. So, I called Quentin Defense, who actually is pretty co close to me, they're local, and I said, can you guys do this? And they said, yeah, sure. And I bring to you the Death Star 15. As you can see, we've got Palps right there, whoops, right there, his visage. And I'm going to move a little closer. Model is the Death Star 15. This is not an AR-15. And of course, we've got our three options here for our firing group. You know, for safe, we have Supreme Chancellor. He's limited. Emergency powers is for single shot because now he's got some influence that he can control. And even though it's a semi-automatic weapon and you can't select it to, uh, to go fully automatic, I did have them put something there. It's treason, then. Now, if the stormtroopers were going to be issued with an AR-15, I had to ask, what would Palps himself want? And we all know how he feels about... So, this is chambered in 50 Beowulf. That's right, this is in 50 Beowulf. This is an Alexander Arms upper. This is a Palmetto State uh, Armory innards on the lower. The lower was made by Quentin Defense, because they're local to me, that's where I got it custom made. I've actually put on a nice thick butt stock, which does help. And it did come with a muzzle now, brake. There's a funny story about this here pepper pot muzzle brake that you see. Let me tell you. I went out to the, to the Go Big Borer Go Home range. I was out there shooting. And then this happened. Whoa! Guys, I shot off my muzzle brake. Woo! <laughs> oh, sh... So as you can see, that's a bit of a problem. So the uh, muzzle brake is unfortunately not usable at this time. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and get a new one installed. I'm going to get the barrel threaded so it's more secure. But unfortunately, we won't be using this today, so it's going to be a little bit harder on the recoil. That said, it's still a lot of fun to shoot. And I put on some Magpul sights. Yes, I know this one's on backwards. It wouldn't lay flat like this, but this is so we can pop them up and it's ready to go. I have two magazines. One is the Alexander Arms stock one for seven rounds. The other one that I've got is a 10 round DNH. So we'll see that so far. I haven't had any feeding issues with either one. I have had one malfunction out of about 17 rounds before, you know, this went flying off. But so far it's been great. I'm going to give you a quick up close at the ammo. So if you're not familiar with the 50 Beowulf round, here it is for y'all. Now, this round is a true .500 round and is essentially an elongated case based on the 50 Action Express. It also has a rebated rim so that it can use the 7.62 bolt group, a uh, bolt carrier group for an AR so they didn't have to create a new one. And they did it specifically this way they could, so they could also make it fit the overall length right in the chamber and to keep the pressure low so that it wouldn't overload the system. And I gotta be honest though, it packs a heck of a punch. This round here is a reload, and I clocked these at an average of 1,950 feet per second. If that doesn't sound a lot, consider that's 300 grains there. These are flat points made by Barry's bullets. I did actually try and load some other ones with a different powder and uh, 1932, so about the same. I'll be using both today, so you can, you can imagine uh, what you're going to see is about 1930 to 1950 in velocity with a 300 grain bullet flying down range doing some damage. I'm going to show you these on the gongs 
and then we're going to have some fun and get out some really cool targets. All right, guys, time to see what the Death Star 15 can do on these gongs. I know I'm close, but I haven't sighted the rifle in yet, so I might be a little off. Forgive me. Spinner again. <laughs> I'll admit it kicks a little more without the muzzle brake on. I definitely want to get it, but uh, for anybody who's curious, it's kind of like shooting a 12 gauge. It's not the worst thing in the world. And boy, does it pack a punch, huh? Okay, so I got some cinder blocks, three of them. We're going to see what the Beowulf can get through. Execute order 66. I actually got cinder block in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Let's get a closer look. Here's the damage. Now you can see this first cinder block. Oh man, look at this. Look what standing is in pieces. It just destroyed this thing. I think, yeah, it's just, oh, that's warm. That's warm that, oh no, no, it's just a piece of the cinder block, I think. I'm, I'm looking to see if we can find the bullet here. But I'm not seeing it. it. Looks like it did come through and hit, like up here. You can see there's a little piece of copper right there. But uh, just sifting through the rubble here, there's another piece of copper jacket, or I mean, uh, really copper plating. I, I really think that the the bullet is gone. I think it disintegrated, or it might have ricocheted off. But so yeah, center block number two is fine. You know, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, kind of was hoping we'd see part of the bullet, but uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Like I said, this I thought this was part of it, but now that I'm feeling it, yeah. See, none of this is bullet fragment. This is all just part of the center block. But boy, it did some damage. That was really cool. I still can't believe, I, I guess I was a little too close to be spitting out pieces of cinder block. Boy, do that with your 223, huh? All right, guys, so soft targets. I got pineapple and I got cantaloupe because I can't find watermelon. I tried, I really did, but I couldn't find it. So, here we go. Oh, that pineapple's not getting away. Check it out, the cantaloupe got a little, uh, <laughs> got a little even there. Yuck! Oh, I hate cantaloupe. Goodbye, Mr. Pineapple. I don't care if it sounds childish, that's pretty freaking fun. All right, you guys know what I hate more than anything, spam. I'm gonna turn these up on this end so as to give myself a little bit easier target on this because like I said, I, I'm still sighting in the Beowulf. I'm sorry, Death Star 15.
I'm not gonna let this one sit on the table. Don't call me about an auto warranty. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to shoot the Beowulf more, and I do have some more targets, but it's getting a little dark because of the overcast clouds we got here today in AZ. So time to clean up with some water jugs and some cans of seltzer water. Table's clean. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed the Death Star 15 and 50 Beowulf. You know, it's a, it's a rifle, but hey, big bore rifles are welcome here on the channel too. They're just not our priority. So if you liked the video, please give us a like and uh, subscribe for more content. It really helps the channel out. If you didn't like it, as always, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you giving us a chance. And remember, go big bore or go home. <laughs>